This is Zecco 3, and let's discuss making a Focke-Wulf Triebflügel. While this style of aircraft was never actually built and tested, our brave Kerbals have decided to test the feasibility of a craft like this. The physics involved in a craft like this are unique. With a typical single-engine propeller-driven aircraft, the torque of the engine has to be countered, typically by trimming the aerodynamic control surfaces. Here, however, the large rotor is spun by jet engines on the blade tips, this results in very little torque being applied to the fuselage of the craft. Normally, I like building planes in the space plane hangar, but the vertical assembly building will actually work a little better for this design. One rocket, called the Roton, used a similar system with tip jets to power helicopter-like blades to assist in landing the rocket to make it reusable. Building a Trieb Flugel initially starts building like most planes, but quickly things get very different. I'm going to use the offset tool to place the tail end of the craft away due to the way the rotor parts attach. I use one of the attachment nodes in the cargo bay to place the rotor. If I had placed the tail on the rotor, it would spin. I'm placing some battery power and small reaction wheels in the payload bay to help aid in flying the craft. Like the original design, our rotor is set to three-way symmetry. The rotor itself is to be unpowered. Jets on the tip of the rotor wings are what will make it spin. Initially, I set these fuel tanks directly on the rotor itself. This is wrong and will be corrected. I got ahead of myself. These servos are what the blades and engine parts will need to be attached. The blades are what is going to provide both lift and thrust for the plane. After putting them on, we can add our intakes and Juno engines. Now we need to set up the servo. Not unlike setting up propellers or fan blades, the angle of the blades will need to be defined. The servo will let us control the pitch of the blades. In this way, we can control the aircraft's speed and flight characteristics. The servos are set up to rotate 60 degrees, with zero giving us no thrust or lift and 60 the most. This design will use the Cal 1000 to control the pitch of the blades and the throttle of the engines. By default, the engines are bound to the throttle. I'll have to unbound that and bind them to the Cal 1000. But this craft is going to use is not going to use, sorry, a linear output on the Junos. We'll need to set up the specifics with the Cal 1000. From about one half to full throttle, the Junos will be at 100% thrust. At 10% throttle, they will be at 75% thrust, and no throttle is still zero thrust, while the blades themselves will angle evenly as the throttle increases. Here is where, uh, here's where I see that I messed up at placing the engine segments and fix it. A quick test of the Cal 1000 shows that things are working uh, properly here. It's good to test to make sure things are working. This craft will have four fins on the back like the original design. I'm adding some auto struts to keep the craft more stable. We will add control surfaces to provide our roll, pitch, and yaw authority. Next, we're going to add some landing legs because this is a tail sitter design and we actually are going to land and take off with this thing facing straight up like this. Alright, we need to do a pre-flight check here and looks good. Alright, I'm adding some canards on this. Um, the original design did not have these but in my testing I found that they really aided in controlling pitch. Alright, we got Jeb in the cockpit here give this thing a name. Um, this should work. All right, I, I need to do a double check over this craft. I tried deploying it and it didn't work quite right so I need to reset some things here and I think I think we got it all set correctly. I'm not sure what I messed up with but it looks right. Alright, let's test this thing out. Jebeli needs a little throttle to get this airborne. These rotors do seem to be generating quite a bit more torque than I initially uh, intended, but it's not very much that the craft has any issues. Jeb doesn't seem to be having any issues flying this, and he's reporting that he'd like to borrow the craft for his commute home after work. I don't really know any practical purpose in the game for a craft like this, other than they are quite fun. I know the Germans in World War II got really creative with some of their designs and just trying to figure out what would work and how to counter the Allies and the Soviets. 
and this was on the table. This was a real design. It got to the wind tunnel testing phase, but uh, no prototypes were ever built other than here in Kerbal Space Program, because that's what we do here. <laughs> All right, it actually lands pretty easily. This is another design that I made. It uses a contour rotating design and is a lot more stable, but in the end I found it didn't fly quite as fast as my other design. So, do you want speed or stability? I don't know, you can pick. But it was quite fun to fly and both were fairly uh, easy to control and a lot easier to land than I thought they would be. But both of them were pretty fun. Thanks for joining me to discuss the Trebflugel.